Yo YouTube, what is going on? Welcome back to the Jeep and Daily channel. I'm gonna do my best to not focus on my body because it's freaking hot as balls out. It's almost 100 degrees. It probably feels like 100 degrees with the humidity. And after driving in the Jeep for about an hour, I'm just, I'm soaked in sweat. But today is gonna be like part two, whatever, part whatever of getting back at this rust. We're almost finished as you can tell. From last video, this is what we got done. And the rear quarter, or the rear quarters on both sides. <laughs> Gonna have to repaint it because I decided to spray it and then some of the paint came off anyways. But today, we're gonna finish covering up these holes and then under the back seat, and then we're done. Actually, we're not done. We're gonna be done today, but that's, this is going to be the last spot of rust that needs to be fixed or covered on the jeep is that hole in the unibody right there and then she should be good besides underside of rocker panels oh my god there's so much rust i forget about on this thing it's annoying but as you can tell we're already getting started with it So if you guys are curious to what I'm going to do after everything's in, I'm going to line it with either uh, the undercoating spray paint can or Rhino line or something, and then eventually I'll get some sound deadening and a carpet. But yeah, I'm gonna we're gonna patch the holes, and then I'll make it look somewhat clean and respectable we're gonna put these pieces back on obviously when we're done but i think also we're gonna use some rtv and get some of like these little holes covered up whatever we don't want any rain water mud water anything getting into it hey guys here's my friend his name is jake he's my butterfly i just found him he likes to sit on my head The long one goes there. Holy crap, I need a... You need a what? Oh, a screwdriver? Well, the trunk floor pan is now complete. I don't know if I said this in the last video or not, but we bought 30 square feet of metal from a hardware store. And that's all we've used from what you see and then underneath right here on the quarter panels and then we still have like this 30. piece it was two by eight he said 30 square feet it was two by eight he said 30 square feet it was two by eight whatever i paid 30 bucks for it so if you're curious to how much this costed the metal was 30 dollars and the self tappers were 15 bucks i think for a box of them and then if you can hear that grinding noise, what my brother's doing is because he self tap from the inside out, just grinding, we're just grinding these down so that it doesn't puncture a tire like we did yesterday. All right, next step, the very last piece to this treasure or to this puzzle. We're gonna put the Jeep up on the lift quick and just put this last piece over top of the hole that is under the rear seat. Well, we decided to just put self tap the metal on the upper side instead of the underside. Easier that way, whatever. I'm not really going for, does it look good? I'm more for, more so going towards are the holes covered can we make it look somewhat decent i'm not even going to bolt that back in ever 
easy remover. Go camping and just take it right out. Is it in? Mm -hmm. Just like that. Boom. Now, here is the finished product of the rear floor. Now we did this with zero welding. It was all sheet metal, a grinder, and self-tapper. Self which, if you had count in the price of blades and stuff, since they were already here, that was probably it would probably cost you like 60 bucks max to do what we did here. Hold on, hold on. I want that metal out so it's not rattling the hell around. And just like that, the Jeep is rust free. <laughs> now the last touches we're gonna do for rust is we'll patch the unibody the right way with metal, but I'll probably get some RTV, expanding foam, whatever. And then like the little holes that'll just take too much time, like stuff like this. I'll RTV or throw some expanding foam in there. The little spots under the seat, I'll do expanding foam for. And then after that, I'll do sound deadening and some carpet, whatever, something to lay over top of the metal so it looks clean. That way these aren't like all hanging out and stuff. I think that's it. I mean, I'll take it to a car wash again before spraying it down more like this. It needs it resprayed again. The axles and leaf springs and stuff I want to do again. But that's gonna... I'll probably steal it like Tuesday, Wednesday this week and uh, throw it up in the air after work and undercoat the entire thing. That's fine. I mean, I don't, I don't... I have another job, so I technically don't really need to show up to this one anymore. <laughs> A hundred self-tappers later. <laughs> we did not. There's not a hundred in there. No yes, way. there was. I promise you. No, there was not. Do you want to count them individually? Hell no. But since I'll show you guys this quick. I don't know. Let me see. I re... My brother cut down and grinded off the self-tappers. So, like, looking at it from a distance... It looks like flush, but up close you can tell. I mean, obviously where it's shiny at is where I painted, but like that spot right there. From a distance, it looks clean. Especially the paint after a good wash, and I could pay my brother to detailer again, but I mean, I'm going Jeep week this week, so it doesn't really need it. Or maybe it does. Maybe I need to do a show and shine. We'll see. Anyways, I keep rambling on, but the floor is kind of patched kind of good if you look at it from underneath it looks good don't mind the mud that was from when I dropped my brother off so I'll have to take that off and then paint over this but the Jeep is looking good it's getting to a better place than it's ever been I don't know about than it's ever been but since I've had it so this is a shorter video from I would guess at least I don't plan on doing anything else Jeep related today to it or related to this video that's gonna do it for this video guys the Jeep is getting less rusty not really less rusty we're just covering up the holes whatever but kind of in a proper way but the Jeep's getting to a better place Jeep week I will be there in five days now this Friday I'll be leaving this Thursday to go down um, I look forward to seeing my Jeep people there. Um, like, If you guys are going to be there, let me know. We can look out for each other. I'm doing the off-road course Friday and the beach stuff Saturday. But if you enjoyed this video, guys, leave a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button down below. We're going to go pick up the Volkswagen that got spanked by this Jeep. We're going to go pick it up. I'm getting its windows tinted. But I will see you guys in the next video, probably at Jeep Week. So if it's not till Jeep week, I will see you guys then. Have a good week. Peace out. All right, before 
I close out this video completely. The seat is up, floor holes are completely covered. I mean, the Jeep is still loud with the windows down, but like, it's so much more, it's more muffled now on the inside. And it's awesome. Maybe it'll be more enjoyable to drive. I mean, I enjoy driving it, don't get me wrong, but maybe it'll be more enjoyable for my girlfriend to come in once AC is fixed and there's some dynamat or some heat resistant, sound resistant stuff in, but we'll get her opinion eventually.